Jitish, you have done a new piece for this Biennale. Could you explain what it speaks about? So the piece is called Untitled, first of all, but then it says Untitled Two Minutes to Midnight. And the piece actually has these six sculptures, which are essentially Paleolithic tools, you know, stone tools. Okay. Um, probably the first instance of any species on the planet trying to alter the shape of something on the planet and thus extending the capacity of their own bodies. And to me, in some ways, this moment of a species ingenuity, a species leap in some ways, like a dawn of ingenuity, seemed really interesting as a way to not just think about that turn that happens when these object is changes shape, but also the way it then incrementally continues this process of shaping and reshaping and shaping and reshaping the planet until an, a, a kind of unparalleled dominance and exploitation and subversion of the entire planetary system happens at the hands of a single species. And so the sculptures themselves are really large and uh, and they oversized. Have, they're oversized and they bear on their body, on their surface, these fossil-like eyes. And they are reptilian eyes, mammalian eyes, fish eyes, looking up back almost from earth, sea, sky. And then my question was, where do I place them? So uh, I've often returned to this form. It's a form that comes from scientists, from the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists who in 1947 or 46, as they put out the first atom bomb, realized that they'd let out a creature that they cannot control, and hence made an announcement with a clock which said it's seven minutes to midnight, which is a random number, and a symbolic system, which is almost a symbolic system that we artists use. You make a form, and the form is supposed to speak to an impulse. And so I kind of love that image, And but from every year since, 46, 47, which in, had the scientists from the Manhattan Project, Los Alamos, Feynman and Nick, Niels Bohr and others. Year on year, scientists have reset the clock. Until 2018, the clock is marked as two minutes to midnight. Due to climate change, bioterrorism, nuclear threat, uh, artificial intelligence and Donald Trump. And it's for the first time that in the history of the clock, a single human being has been mentioned as a possible threat to human extinction. So the, the sculpture sits on, the, on a plinth which is shaped like the hands of a clock. Ah. And, um, and the entire space actually feels like a com concrete space. It was a concrete floor and a concrete wall. I kind of extended the concrete wall up and yes. the plinth is a concrete plinth. So the whole sculptures then sit on a on like a cradle of concrete or like a substrate of concrete. But why six? Uh, I just stopped at six, you know, and I think there were questions, you know, like for instance, also the question was about scale. I knew they were oversized and I thought, how big? So the first instinct was really to respond to the space. You know, that's the yes. architecture chamber that you begin working with, you know. That set the scale in some ways, but then I wasn't entirely convinced until I could think further about why am I setting at this scale. In some ways, I think these sculptures have the size of a hand axe. If it was to be held by a human as large as any species that ever lived on this planet. So it's probably the largest dinosaur scale human would have held this. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> but that's really an afterthought. But I think that afterthought then, I think, I think firmed the scale for me. So I kind of you know, found that sort of geometry from a, from a thought that seemed convincing enough. And uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>